upon the last several months, the last 10, 11 months, then yes, um, there have been more knife crime incidents this year than there has been last year. And so we need to focus on why that's happening. And I think it, it's, it's important to, to speak to young people to say, why are they uh, carrying knives? And for you to look at other people, and if they start going down that route, of either saying to them, or certainly to an adult, that they shouldn't be doing this kind of thing, they certainly shouldn't be engage in behaviour that is violent, criminal, or certainly carrying any kind of weapon. Why, why do we need to carry a weapon? Well, there isn't, is there? We have to understand why people think that there is a reason um, and, and work with them um, to get them more engaged in things like their education particularly, and so that they don't feel the need that they have to, to carry a weapon. When, when I was young, people had arguments, but they didn't carry a knife and they didn't whip out a knife either. Do you think bastards do better than they did? Yeah, do I think bastards are doing better than they did? Um, I, think, I think the majority of Theresa May's time was dominated by Brexit and while she was interested in other problems, um, she wasn't able to focus upon them because all her time was spent on Brexit and she wasn't able to achieve that. So we'll, if Boris will be better and Theresa May, if he has an opportunity to resolve Brexit and then focus on other issues. So the answer is, we we'll have to wait and see. Why are, why are we leaving the EU and how would this affect our children now and in the future? Well, we're leaving the EU because we had a referendum and more people voted in that referendum than at any election in the history of the United Kingdom and people decided that they wanted to leave. Now it's very contentious, so people aren't happy because literally half people wanted to leave, just under half wanted to remain. And what it meant, I believe, to leave was that we were no longer involved uh, as a, a member of the European community uh, and the European Union. And that meant that we have certain laws that come out of the European Union and the European Commission and that we wouldn't be subject to those laws anymore. It also meant that there were a lot of people who lived in Europe come and live in this country and we could go and live in their countries and it means that they won't be able to do that in the future. So what it may mean for you is that you might not be able to go and live in Spain uh, unless you have a qualification or a skill that the people in Spain say that they want you to have or need you to have and it's the same thing that people from Spain won't be able to simply come here unless they have a, a qualification or skill that we want them to do. And so uh, in terms of going forward as you grow up um, you won't, probably won't be able to go and work in those countries, but you can't currently go and work in America or Brazil or China or India or places like that. And so really, it will be the same as the other parts of the world. But I hope that we have an opportunity to um, trade with all different parts of the world, um, because previously the European Union had decided a lot of that for us, and we can make some of those decisions ourselves.